Today is day six of not spending money, so I'm making tuna salad because I'm trying to empty out all the shit from the pantry that I haven't eaten. Took out some bread from the freezer. And obviously keeping in mind I live with other people, right? But I made these broccoli fritters yesterday. They're so good. And then all of this is not mine because <laughs> I have finished most of my food. Pepper's in there. I'm going to make a stir fry tonight. Most of those cans are mine. I'm trying to eat through them. But I'm making a tuna salad sandwich. <laughs> I've done it, you guys. I hit the seven days. I did not buy a goddamn thing. And I'm very proud of myself. We are going to drop off all of the bottles from the garage because there were many bottles. We are done the Bottle Depot. Made 20 bucks. Want that for me. You guys, if you are not watching Married at First Sight Australia, I think this is season 15. Oh my God. Janelle is my kind of bitch. You know why? She, like Ariana Maddox, are fucking ride or die bitches for their men. They are ride or die. They will go down for everything. But the fucking second you cross them, it's so good. I really hope this energy stays because I am loving this. Today is a big day. I have Botox, very excited about it, in my armpits. And then I'm getting two cavities filled that are in between my fucking teeth, which is so sick. I had a smoothie, I'm gonna go make some toast. Also, look at my nails. These are just my nails. Look at how fucking oh hey they look. <laughs> this is why we did the no buy, finished Botox. That was almost 900 bucks, which honestly is cheaper than I thought it was gonna be. So that's not too awful. Okay, back from the Botox, back from the dentist. We're still a little frozen. I just refreshed my face, but I need to wait for this to go down. So I look slightly normal. I mean, it's not super bad. It's definitely fading, but we're gonna give it 15 20 i ate we're gonna go and clean my bedding look at all this beautiful furniture that i have to move in taylor got a date she and her boyfriend are moving out for april 1st into their new place and the new place is so close and it looks so pretty okay we are going to get a chemical peel i want to show you my skin close up okay before lots of like texture on my forehead Couple breakouts. So let's go. The most important thing to remember is that it's fucking cold out here. <sighs> the absolute nerve of winter to start again. I can't even believe the deceit and lies and just. <laughs> We're here. Directly after. It was totally easy. That was so nice and easy. Like, <laughs> so nice and easy. My appointment was for um, 11.30. I got in like five minutes early, took me back in right away, and I'm out at 11.45. It was so simple, so quick, so easy, so perfect, loved it. And she said my whole face should peel, which is the goal, you know what I mean? Feels fine. It feels fine. The first one was like a 4 out of 10 pain, and now it's nothing. So this is what I bought after not spending any money on groceries in over two weeks. Got some pizza dough, got some cheese, coffee stuff, ground beef, I want to do burgers, spinach for smoothies, got a ton of frozen fruit. And then stuff for pico de gallo, bananas. I made, I got some stuff to make little snack boxes and stuff for pizza sauce. Okay, so we are going out thrifting because this is the last day I'm gonna be able to leave the house without being a peely peely snake. Uh, my extensions also came in. I ordered those after the no buy week was done and I posted a full length video kind of recapping what that looked like. I'm gonna do more vloggy stuff on that video 
on my main channel next month. I bought food the week prior four times in that one week. And then in the last, obviously the no buy week and the week since I bought it twice. And if I can find some like artwork or cute little decor or whatever, that would be awesome. I also got a bunch of groceries in today, just like restocking on fresh fruits and recipe things that I wanna make. So that's really good left empty-handed. There was just nothing that I was like, oh yeah, I need that. Tried on a bunch of things. You can see it on my TikTok. I do have this coupon for Value Village. We're gonna go there next. And then we're gonna go home and cook. But the whole time, I just felt like my face was just peeling. It's, it's feeling real tight. I want to go in and check out homewares, mostly. And then we'll see if I feel like browsing anywhere else. Look, I got that mirror right there at Value Village, 10 bucks. So cute. That We're doing extensions so <laughs> at home and this is the before. The sheer amount of attitude I have now with these extensions, unheard of, but I am, it's tampered down a little bit with the still flaky, peely skin. Okay, we're on day five or six of the chemical peel, and it is really sensitive here. But extensions are in, and my attitude is different. I'm different. I am now that bitch. I've changed. I've let it change me. Um, but I love them, and doing them at home was really nice. And the hair I got from, where did I order that from? Bombay Hair. And it was like 320, 330 maybe. It was expensive. And then Taylor did it and they look so good. But um, ow, <laughs> my noggin hurts. And laying my head down on a pillow hurts. Hi, puppy. So close up here, just so you can see how fucking irritated and like red I am. I put some like balm salve on it because like it's already peeled here. It's just really sensitive. Yes, it is my birthday. Everybody say happy birthday to me in the comments. I am four years old. I'm old boy now. I am basically a full-grown man, and I will be treated as such. Except for paying rent and earning my keep, I will not do that. Obviously not. That's I will not stupid. Do that. that would be I will so not stupid. Do that. So stupid. That would be so stupid. You're in the office chair. You say I'm working very hard. I'm going to drop off my taxes. This is what I'm giving it to him in because I had nothing else, so yay. Okay, we're in Beaumont and we went to Chartier to get some stuff. Um, the Brit uh, wanted a donut from here and they didn't have it, but we both love carrot cake and they had some of those. So now we're gonna go. If anybody hasn't been to Beaumont and you live in like Edmonton, they have some of the cutest little spots mainly Chartier, Jeff's Cafe, but I used to live, my parents' acreage was like five minutes outside of Beaumont. And obviously I didn't talk about that when I was fucking living there, but I went to school in Beaumont and well, not for high school, I did homeschool. <laughs> but I did like all my shit in Beaumont and I worked in Beaumont. I worked at the Booster Juice there and I worked at the Boston Pizza there. And every time I come back here, I'm like, oh, I do like it, you know? It's cute. The houses are like fairly affordable. And goddamn, there's way more shit to do here now than when I lived here, that's for goddamn sure. And I started a new book. I started The Silent Patient. So far I'm three chapters in and I very much like it. I think it's good. You guys, I finished it. I don't know if I wanna hang it up though because like you can see some of the numbers. And I know I could just go over it, but like, it's cute. I just don't think it fits in with like the aesthetic. We are going on a date night. I am driving to the place though, so I can go to HomeSense first because I want some like baskets and I also just wanna walk around. Also love a chemical peel. Very grateful that I can get chemical peels, but like the dryness, unreal. My hair has never been dirtier. It is three day hair. We are doing this. Like, I like it. I just feel like, cause there's two wefts in here. 
so maybe next time we'll just do one because I don't really care about like the crazy length. But we are gonna go out thrifting today because I wanna do a thrift haul and I've got like a nice little pile of stuff. I also have some things right here that I'm gonna take to Play-Dohs. Yeah, look at my little dress collection. I've been trying to clear out this side of my closet for when the Brit like, once Taylor's out, he's gonna have that bathroom available to him and he can like leave more stuff here. And he's got like some stuff in his drawers already. So, you know, relationship things. But I'm gonna get dressed and then we're gonna go. Avril Lavigne just came on the radio, Skater Boy. And my God, I, I kind of want to go to her concert. I know she's touring and I, I feel like she might be coming to Edmonton and I kind of want to go and I'm not a concert person, but like the joy and I love, I love every time she comes on the radio. It's so good. But we are on the way to the mall because I want to stop and do Hudson's Bay first. And then I will do the thrift store on the way back and then we have to come home because I have a meeting at one. It is 11 o'clock right now, so we're gonna try to rush here just a teeny tiny little bit. We are done at Southgate. I got these shorts on clearance. These were, it's like 25 bucks. They're from the Hudson's North Company and everything in there that was Hudson's North was like originally a billion and a half dollars. We've got like 10 minutes to do Value Village. Let's motor. We're out with four minutes to spare. Now we need to go home. There was nothing in there. I did a quick look at the home stuff quick look through like active wear and dresses, quick look through books, but I just bought a bunch of books, so we're good. With leftovers from last night's date night, we went to get tacos and margaritas. Here's your dead as I've spent the morning shopping. What a struggle. I have been trying to like organize my office a little bit. <sighs> it's like, this is all the stuff that's going into the kitchen once Taylor moves out. And then I've got my photo albums. This is going in the kitchen, but it looks better. And look at these beautiful pots and pans. Yes, stunning. But I just went through my memory box and <laughs> yeah, it's a bunch of Buffy DVDs. But also it was my journal from my breakup and I just spent like an hour and a half reading it all. And wow, how far we've come. <laughs> 